Hello, hi, and um, welcome once again. It's Go Get Engineering Institute as usual. Um, we just got, we've been getting some questions relating to one of our structural design of a foundation for a three story structure which we um, published some, some weeks ago or a few weeks ago. Um, some of our, the responses we were getting from the um, people who watched the video were the ability of STAD or the capability of STAD in designing the foundation and providing for reinforcement. So I just want to use this opportunity to explain um, how you would go about that. All right. Um, the question was around. So we have we had designed the foundation under serviceability limit states. The next step you would have to do is to design the raft foundation, design the raft beams under ultimate limit states to resist the corresponding biaxial shear bending and if torsion applies as well too. So I want to explain how you know Stad will design all the various slab panels that you can see on the raft foundation on your screen. So you see we have about um, six raft panels, okay, that is to be designed at the completion of the um, sizing of the foundation panels to ensure that the um, maximum contact pressure is less than the soil's allowable capacity of the soil. So for this same um, design that was done previously, we could remember that um, at serviceability limit states, um, so we usually do check for the contact pressure and then in the last session, it was obvious that the contact pressure distribution, okay, is parabolic in its distribution. So it varies significantly you know within this intensity so you could do a normal fitting equation to determine the best curve that's that represents the distribution of the contact pressure however the maximum contact pressure we can see at the edges of the foundation is 70.5 and we said this was far lesser than the allowable bearing capacity of the soil of 75 kilopascal so we're fine so usually when you complete this the next thing you would have to do is to design the raft foundation for each of the panels so simply what do you do, just go to, right, you go to your concrete designer. When you click on your concrete designer, it takes you to this page. Um, you would have to define your raft slab, okay? So you have to define your um, various raft slab panels. So we have that panel, we have this panel, we have that panel, this, that, this, and that. So you define these raft panels. So what we usually do is to you go to slab, then select the corresponding panels, okay, that you desire, you so wish. Okay, if this is it, you right click and then you form slab. Okay, you select the corresponding raft panels as you so choose, and then you form slab. Once you form slabs, start automatically, you know, give it if the slab number and extract all the geometric properties of the slab, which 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 um, includes its thickness, the corresponding plan area, the gross area, if, there's, if there are holes on the slab, and the number of holes present, and, um, and so on. Okay, so once you do that, you go next to define your uh, foundation brief. You can see there's a foundation brief we have defined for the rough slab, and then there's a foundation brief you have defined for the rough beam. And the foundation brief, you, de you define the minimum and maximum size of your tensile reinforcement okay that should be considered in the design you would also design and um, specify the minimum cover to reinforcement as um, enshrined in the code of practice um, if you look at the typical one you could see the cover to reinforcement is specified the maximum size of quartz aggregate um, utilized for the concrete mix ratio which you intend to use if it's a grade 25 grade 30 grade 35 grade 40 as the case implied in your concrete mix design you have the maximum size of quartz aggregate you intend to utilize on site you specify that okay so you specify your design brief parameter the design strength of your reinforcement as that as, in addition to that of your concrete and so on so once you define that for your raft um, foundation okay once you define that for your raft foundation the next thing you do is to come to your concrete slab okay so your concrete slab have all your see your various um, slab panels that we have in our um, analysis so if you look at um, this is the structure so 
So you can see this is the foundation layout. You can see the various rough panels. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have the rough various rough panels. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the rough panels you have the same rough panels that will be defined on your structure. Okay, as soon as you do this, once you have the various rough panels, they are defined in start via region. So you have region two, region three, one, six, and all of that. Once you have this has been done in start, just go to design and then click on design. So you have to click on design, it will design all your rough panels clearly. So we can clearly see what the design moments are and then look at the size of reinforcement look at the size of reinforcement required you know at the top top x so look at your x direction look at your y direction so top x bottom x top y and then bottom y for all the various panels which are defined as regions instead so i hope this explains your question so you can use that to design anything um, once you design your rough foundation, you can proceed to design, of, when you size your rough foundation, you can proceed to advanced concrete designer in the design of the reinforcements for your rough foundation. Thank you very much for the opportunity. You can still ask any of your questions as you choose. Come back with your questions and then we will respond to your questions with um, um, detailed video responses. Thank you.